soft grungy makeup look I just feel like that is the mood that I'm in right now and this is gonna mostly be for my eyes I'm obviously adding a little bit of blush here really quick just to kind of grunge and warm up my face a bit more so that whenever I start to go in with the eyes the base makes a little bit more sense and this is not going to be for everyone but this is really fun to wear in the fall in my opinion i'm going to go in with the ColourPop matte about hue eye palette on a fluffy but also oval shaped brush can you see like the oval design i'm going to go in to this orangey color when you're thinking grungy you're when i'm thinking grungy i'm thinking really warm really blown out really smoky and this right here you can go cool and if you go pretty wide and now if you go cool with a grunge that's definitely grungy as well i'm just the the look i have in mind is very blown out and orangey and warm but you obviously can do this with cool colors you're just gonna really want to blend that out and make it like overly blended so this is kind of going above my crease as a little bit of a transition color. I'm going to go in with this lighter yellow color called Pow and go right above that just to kind of start that gradient as well because I noticed that the best way to make my grungy eyeshadow look grungy is to really, really over blend and make it very big and blown out. Then I'm going to go into the shade Camp. This is a beautiful brown color that I'm going to pat all over my eye with this same brush really really simple really really easy and I'm just going to do that to both eyes here no cuts very simple I love this palette because I don't have to pull anything else out I can just go straight in with this then you start looking a little crazy you're gonna use that same brush to start buffing and blending that lid shade into that crease color we already laid it down and you want to keep the edges kind of round so don't whoosh it out in a v shape which is what i typically actually do with my eyeshadows because i prefer that shape on me but when i'm going for the grungy look i'm telling you that round shape is just going to come across much more grungy i'm gonna go into the shade sugar rush it is a red tone brown brown if not almost completely red and i'm gonna tap this a little bit lower on my lid here this is the part where i'm actually going to switch my brush to something a little bit more tapered just a little bit smaller i'm going to go into this camp color and i'm going to start putting this underneath my eye and i'm going to bring it in further than i normally do be careful not to fluff too much shadow in your eye because that can irritate your eye and blend everything else out too so it's like really really seamless red red berry color this is simple syrup i'm gonna take this straight on my finger that crease i don't want the gradient to become any darker but i do want it to be even so that's why i'm making sure it's blended in the crease there then you can even take a little bit of it on that same brush and add it just a little bit to the under eye just to make everything like nice and cohesive i love makeup black eyeliner just on my upper lash line absolutely don't have to do this but just for funsies i'm gonna add a little bit of blue i do have a actually darker blue here trick up my sleeve that looks so cool so fun i have some blue mascara and this will be really fun just to kind of play on those oranges and warm colors we have. So just adding this blue, it will also really enhance the liner. And just be fun. Just a fun... You're probably not going to be able to tell too much. I'm going to use this shade, Lipstick. Okay, I lined and now I'm gonna go in. Obviously you don't have to go all out like this. I just wanted to play in makeup today, really. I love this lip combo. That's the fun thing about playing in makeup is like this lip combo would be the fall lip combo, especially with like a really simple blank eye. It's just fun.